Do you want your iPhone to stand out and look like this? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to teach you how you can level up your customization game. I'm going to teach you about an app that I use to customize my home screen layout and make it stand apart from all the other iPhones out there. There are a lot of interesting tips and tricks in this video. So stay tuned and let's dive in. Right. So the app that I use to customize my home screen is called Vigi Widgets. It's available in the App Store absolutely for free. So go ahead and install this app and then let me show you how to use it. So before we start with the app, let me tell you about the different sizes of widgets that you have. This particular size is a large widget. This is a medium widget and this is a small widget. So these are the three sizes that we're going to work on. And once you get an idea of how to customize the widget, you can apply the same for small, medium or large. I'm going to show how you can customize a large widget today. So let's get started. Open up the app. It's called Vigi, like I mentioned earlier. And once you open up Vigi, you can see that there's create, explore, manage, help and settings. So let's start by going into the explore tab. This is where you'll see a lot of different widgets and you can sort it out by the size. So you can sort it by popularity. And then we can go into large size because that's what I'm going to be focusing on today. So once you click on large, like I'll show you if it shows medium, it'll show you all different widgets that are available for medium. But I'm going to work on uh, large. So let's click on large. There are tons of widgets to choose from over here as there are a lot of people who are designing and customizing the widgets and then uploading them for everyone to download. It's absolutely free. So let's customize this particular one. This is the one that I've already customized on my home screen, but I'm going to show how you can customize it from scratch. So let's click on this. After you click on the widget, you need to click on import widget. Import it successfully. Dismiss. Let's go to the manage tab. Now here you can see there are eight slots for each size of widget, small, medium or large. In the free version, you can only customize one slot at a time. And if you want to customize more than one slot, then you have to unlock all home screen by paying a small one time fee of 600 rupees. So we are going to focus only on one slot today. And uh, let me select the large slot. Let me clear this slot as it's already occupied by my current uh, widget, which I'm using. So let's click on the widget that we downloaded. This is the what we downloaded. And here you need to select the widget placement since it's an extra large one it's going to be here you just click on yes it says apply theme would you like to customize font and colors i don't want to do that right now because i want to edit this widget and remove the name john and put in my name etc i'm going to show how you can do that it's very simple and straightforward so you click on the widget click on edit and click on edit again now this is the edit grid that you have over here and each and everything is very nicely laid out over here. So let's say I want to change the name from John to Varun, which is my name. So I click on the groups over here and here you can see all the different uh, text, etc. Now it says over here text John. If you want to reconfirm, you can just click on this eye icon. And if you turn it off, the word goes off over here. So this is the text box for it. Click on this. Now here on top, you can come into the data tab and like you can see it shows John over here click on that and click on text here you can change the name I'm going to change it to Varun you can change it to whatever you like now click on update now you can see it says hello Varun over here so that makes more sense because this is my phone and not John's phone <laughs> now let's go back I click on confirm now I'll click on edit again edit widget now since this uh, font varun is too small i would like it to be bigger you can even do that so you can go back into the text field let's select where it says varun now this is position and size so if i click on the plus size you can see it's increasing it becomes bigger and smaller over here you can really play around and you know customize it to exactly what you like you can even change the position of this up down left right there are a lot of things that you can do. You can even change the font color. Like here, you, I can make it black or blue or pink or whatever, like orange, whatever you want. I'll just leave it at black. So let's go back. Same way I can change to like the font today is I can change that also. I can uh, select a different color, a different font. Like let's change the font over here. It says font is BP dots regular. You can edit it. You can change it to any other font that you like. 
So let's say Bruno is and regular. You see that font changes. So once you're satisfied with all the changes that you made, just click on the back button and click on confirm. Now, how do you apply this to your widget? Go back into the manage tab, click on this slot. And this is what we have edited. It shows over here. So you select this, click OK and click No. Now, another important setting is you need to set up transparency. So what that means is by default, it'll look something like this. It says over here, go to your home screen and enter into jiggle mode, scroll to an empty page and take a screenshot. So let me show you how to do that. Come to the last page that you have. Tap and hold, scroll, and this is where it's empty right now. Take a screenshot by pressing the power and volume up button. And once you're done, go back into the app and select the wallpaper over here from your gallery, like I have over here. So it's got a light version and a dark version. Dark version is when you're in dark mode. So you need to click a photo of dark mode wallpaper as well. You can do that by enabling dark mode and taking a screenshot. And once you're done, tap on the tick mark and you're good to go. And that's it. So now what you need to do is just ensure that this is applied over here. And how do you add this widget? You tap and hold, click the plus icon. Now scroll right down into Vigi. You can see Vigi over here. Now see it shows small 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Similarly, medium. We need to go to large because that's the slot that we did. This is it. Now click on add widget. And there you have it. Your widget has come over here and you can click on done. That's how you add a Vigi widget to your home screen. And this will really up your customization game. So explore the app. There are lots of different uh, widgets. You can choose a small, medium or large. And I encourage you to customize it by deep diving into it. And you can literally make these widgets completely your own. And this will make your iPhone stand out and it'll look really good. Now you know how to make your iPhone home screen look beautiful. I hope that you enjoyed the video that I made. I put in a lot of time and effort to make this video for you so that you can level up your customization game. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and comment as well. And also subscribe to my channel as it really helps with the algorithm. See you in the next one.